What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today i'm going to be showing you this insane deck that i came up with um really free to play friendly no exe cards and it just absolutely stomps in battles so let's check out the deck and it, it i'm surprised at how strong it is so i like to call this deck the team rocket deck because we're running arbok wheezing and muck jesse and james from back in the day so let's just um check out what cards are running so we've got two ekins one grimer i wish i had two grimers but we've only got the one uh two coffins two arbox and then one muck again i wish i had another muck and then two wheezings so grimer is pretty good because he drops that poison and then what we can do is we evolve into muck and instead of just doing 70 damage we're going to do an extra 50 on top of that. So we're going to do 120 damage. That is pretty solid. And that's that's not bad. We're not an EXE card. We're a normal card. So yeah, really, really solid damage from Muck coming in. Then we've got Arbok, who is actually a really strong card. Quite tanky at 100 HP. Um, 60 damage for two energy. And then they can't retreat, which can be really clutch. And you can just lock someone in and you should be able to either one shot a lot of people or two shot so arbok really really strong and then wheezing wheezing is one of my favorite cards again very tanky 110 hp we only need one energy to start popping off so tackle 30 damage it's not a lot but we are doing poison so we're sort of doing 40 damage every turn and it does start to stack up and wheezing is one of the best stool cards in the game so then we've got two potions just to uh, help us keep topped up on that HP. Uh, two Pokeballs, two Professor Oaks. You know, the staple of every single deck, you will always have those cards. We need Pokeballs to try and get those basic Pokemon. Uh, and then we need Professor Oak just to help us get through our deck as quickly as possible so we can get the cards that we need. Uh, we've got one red card in there. That's really good to sort of counter any decks that you know, need like three evolutions or they need something to sort of start building up their comp. We can just completely ruin that with a with a red card. Two Kogas. Koga is someone that I used to think was just trash. And actually, he's insanely strong. So what we can do is we can just pull Weezing from the fight, swap someone else in. And that means they're not going to get that point for killing Weezing. But also, it's basically you're like healing a Weezing back up to full hp it's crazy and again because he only needs that one energy he can just start popping off again pretty quickly so yeah koga is an insanely good card and then giovanni just in there for that extra tan damage it can just come really useful in uh just certain plays so yeah let's get some battles on opponent found tomato what a name all right let's see what uh tomato is running Going second, you know, that always gives you a bit of an advantage. So we're going to go with Coffin first. Put Ekins on the bench. And is he running a Mewtwo deck? Even better, this deck destroys Mewtwo. I don't know about you guys, but Mewtwo EX just seems to be everywhere right now. It is the meta. So we will destroy this so easily with Coffin and Weezing. You'll be surprised at how much damage Weezing actually does. We are going to red card them because hopefully it just messes things up a little bit for them. Okay, so suffocating gas. Just going to do, you know, 40 damage. It's pretty good. That's a big chunk of Mewtwo's HP gone. They do have Old Amber, which is interesting. Not many people play this card um, or the Fossil either. Um, they are actually pretty good. They can just, you know... You don't lose points. They just sort of pop a wall. And again, they're just a stall card, just like Weezing. But Weezing's definitely better. So if I was them, I would actually, yeah, let this Mewtwo rot and start building the Mewtwo in the back. That is one thing that we did. We don't have any Sabrinas in our, in our deck. And the reason for that is that we are kind of weak in that respect because no one's like a really heavy hitter. We sort of do medium damage so it is a little bit of a weakness that we have but still it is a very very strong deck i 
don't really lose that often with it. So wheezing, we're going to gas leak and we're going to start doing 50 damage. So this Mewtwo is going down in two turns. And yeah, let's get Arbok down. Wheezing. Coming in with a tackle. And that's it. Mewtwo is gone. So I'm not sure what he's going to do. For me, I would probably try and put old Amber in, into play. Um, and they've given up already. They know it's going to be a loss. Like I said, this deck counters uh, any Psychic deck. Alakazam, Mewtwo, so easily. So let's move on to the next one. Let's hopefully... And this, this deck is insane for farming, by the way. For this event, we are going to get that emblem so easy. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's go on to the next one. Sko Skim. All right. Sko Skim, show me what you got. Nice to meet you too. Going second again. What can I say, guys? Another psychic team comp. So we'll put our Ekins in front. And then we'll put Grimer on the bench. Ekins just does a little bit more damage. We've got a better chance of getting Arbok as well. And Arbok can't absolutely destroy Mewtwo X, just like Weezing. I, I didn't build this deck just to counter Mewtwo. It is good just all around. Um, there's definitely some things you might struggle with against, like Pikachu EX, um, Marowak EX. Those cards are kind of more RNG-based, where this deck, I'd say, is more consistent. Um, but yeah, those those two comps do slap. You know, there's no way, there's no two ways about it. So we're just going to keep Ekins in. It's going to go for a bite. So that's 40 damage straight off the bat. Down to 110. And then Arbok is going to be able to two-shot Mewtwo. So Sko Skim is in trouble. And it's a real shame. These, these are just easy fights for us. Um, I guess the next kind of cards... So we've got 14 cards, still quite a chunk. Um, Professor Oak would be good. Pokeball would be good. Ideally, we'll pick up um, a Coffin. Just so we can start popping off with Weezing. All nice, coming with a big heal there. But one of the things they're going to struggle with now is that we are going to lock in Mewtwo. He's going nowhere. I will, I will evolve Muck. And we need to start putting energy into Monk, Monk as well. 80 damage, and he cannot get away from us. Um, he's going down to Funker Town. So yeah, Mewtwo are going to drop pretty quickly. So And that's an energy wasted as well. That is so good for us. Two energies wasted. Even if this Mewtwo comes into play, they're not going to be able to do much to us. Okay, sweet. We've got that Pokeball. Uh, just trying to think. Yeah, if we get Coffin, actually, we're going to put the energy into Coffin first because it's just one energy to start, you know, getting the ball rolling. So that's Mewtwo EX down. No matter who he brings in next, they're going down and they're going down hard and they're going down fast. Sko Skim, are you? No. Fair play, they're, they're still going. They still have faith. So yeah, so he's going to put obviously one energy into there. Yeah. It's, it's a no-brainer. So that's two Mutex decks down. See you later, buddy. Let's move on to the next one. Let's try and get like a harder matchup. And sweet, we've got the, uh, the gold emblem now. So yeah. Let's, uh, let's put that on display. Not found. Okay, no idea what that says. If anyone does speak Japanese, let me know what this these names are, because I always think it's quite interesting. I wish there was like maybe a translator so I could learn, just learn a little bit about these other cultures. So yeah, obviously we have to play Coffin. This is quite a good sign hand though. Pokeball, Professor Oak. Um, but yeah, this, okay. We're going up against um, an electric deck. Zapdos EX, they probably are running um, Pikachu as well. And we all know Pikachu is a menace to society. 
Okay, yeah, drop Ekins. Let's do some research. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Okay, so let's end our turn. We're going to hold on to that red card just for now. Um, because they've not dropped anything else. So I feel like they've got all their support cards in the back line. It's got 13 cards. We've got 11. Oh, original Pikachu. Interesting. Um, I, I, I'm kind of disappointed by Raichu. Raichu hits really hard, like 150 damage, but discards all the energy. And that kind of sucks. Really, really sucks, to be honest. So we're going to come in with Weezing. We're not going to heal up just yet. Going to leak some gas. And we're going to go for the tackle. Still holding onto the red card for now. So basically in two turns we can kill Zapdos. Okay, it's a little bit of a tricky one. Um, there's no point in healing. I'm going to put energy into Ekins though. But there's no point in us healing up Weezing because we might get one shot no matter what we do. So we're going to just leak gas again and go for the... We are actually... Let's drop that red card as well. Just in case they do have a heal. So th there's a very good chance that Zapdos will just one-shot us with Thundering Hurricane. But we're going to risk it. And hopefully, if we survive, then I'm definitely using Koga. And then I'm going to sacrifice my coughing. There it is, Pikachu EX. Oh, just such a deadly card. I think it's it probably is the best card in the game. Just straight off the bat you can just wreck peeps um you know you're doing like 90 damage in like two turns off two energy 120 hp and you can just absolutely bulldozer your way through teams it's absolutely steamroll so yeah really really deadly so let's see what happens here okay so one two Ah, got the one shot. Like it's 50 50. So, yeah, definitely going down. And who does more any damage? Okay, I'm going to stick in Ekins. So we don't have enough damage. Ah, oh, typical. Absolutely typical. We could have snuck in Weezing there. And actually, that's what we're going to do. We're going to retreat with Ekins, bring in, bring in Weezing, the hard carry. And we're going to poison again. And then go for that tackle. Just hold on to the rest of the cards for now. We're in a pretty solid spot right now, though. And you can see Weezing just does work. But every single one of these cards, all three of them can, can get stuff done for you. It doesn't really matter. So really, really solid stuff going on. Would be nice if we could get a Grimer and just sort of show Muck in action. Uh, one of my favorite plays to do is Weezing's low in HP. He's poisoned the enemy. We drop Koga. Oh, now that was cheeky. Very, very cheeky. And there it is. There's Grimer. The only problem is, is it takes a while for him to sort of start building up. So... Yeah, we, we are going to put in Takeaway Ekins again. Bring in Weezing. Going to gas leak all over Pikachu. Go for another tackle. And again, we're already starting to just chip away. And Pikachu doesn't have enough energy to start doing damage just yet. So I think the max he's going to be able to do is at least 60. If there's, yeah, there it is. So at least 60. If it was 90... Well, even with 60, we're kind of lucky he's got a potion. Unless he's got Giovanni, we've got yeah, to get at least two turns out of this. 
And Weezing can actually take out Pikachu, which is just crazy. And sweet. Things are going our way. Got two potions. So back up to 90. Gas leak. And tackle. And you can see we're leaning heavily on Weezing. He is just an insane card. I feel like on paper, he doesn't really look like much, but you can see he gets the job done. He is literally just plowing through this guy's team. And Pikachu EX is one of the strongest decks, if not the strongest deck in the game right now. Um, but yeah, it's crazy, crazy how good he is. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about Pikachu EX, but let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think is the strongest deck in the game right now? I'd love to know your thoughts. And this is Raichu. This is one of my favorite cards from an art point of view. Like the artwork is just so good on this card. Um, but yeah, just it's a real shame. It's 140 damage for Thunderbolt, but you lose all your energy and there's no real way to sort of charge him back up. So once you're, once you're gone, you're gone. The only thing I'm hoping that we can do is I just want to get the one shot on this Raichu. So, you know, I think he, he should know it's already a loss. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what he does. And then we're going to backdoor in with Muck. Please, please let me use the Muck. It's my favorite combo. Okay, what's he going to do? Okay, you can see he's given up all hope. So I'm going to put energy into Grimar. You can actually do this. So you can do Gas Leak. So you can do your ability first. Then you can evolve into Muck. We can drop Koga. Get the Weezing back in hand. Drop Muck. And then we come in with that big heavy hitter. And it's just game over. Crazy little combo that you can do. It's one of my faves. Absolute favorite combo of the game. So, GG man, good game. Let's uh, let's try it one more. See if we can get another win. So we're three for three right now, and we're going up against Squiggly Diggly. Another name I don't have a clue. Yeah, they definitely need to have some sort of translator in this, just so I can know who I'm going up against. It would be pretty cool. I'm not gonna learn Japanese for this game, just so I know what people's names are. Okay, Lapras. So if it's a Starmie deck, we might struggle. Starmie is actually, I think, low-key broken. Starmie absolutely slaps in this game. Uh, Lapras EX, though, I think it's one of the most underwhelming cards by a mile. It's a real shame because it's the first promo card that we've got. And it kind of sucks. It Yeah, it just straight up sucks. Um, just I just feel like not enough damage. And only 20 heal. Reasonably tanky though. But it's just if you were to compare it to say Venusaur. Venusaur hands down is way better than Lapras. Obviously there's more work involved. Like you need three evolutions. Um, four energy. But once you're there. It is just so hard to beat. Oh. Hand scope. I rarely ever see anyone use that. So they basically they're going to look at our deck. See what we've got in hand. Yeah, hand scope. I just feel it's not a great card. Obviously, it can sort of help you plan things out, but really and truthfully, it's not needed. We are in a bit of a sticky situation, though. So we're down to 13 cards. So we've got two Pokeballs, two Professor Oaks, two Arbox. So sort of 50-50 that we will pick up one of the cards that we want. And he just red card us. That was actually the perfect time to do that. Uh, one of the main reasons is that they really screwed us over because now we've got 15 cards in hand and they're down to 12. So they do have a little bit of a, a lead on us. But yeah, hopefully we can pick up a coffin or an Arbok. There we go. It's my boy Arbok. And we're just going to put some more energy in. It's just that if we need to retreat, then we've got that energy. But now Lapras is now stuck in that one-on-one -on -one battle with us. 
and there's n- there's no escaping. You cannot escape the Arbok. But um, yeah, it's just crazy though. Like you just look at Arbok and just think, okay, they're kind of okay, but actually they are so strong. Like Lapras is now stuck in this battle. They can't get away. We're actually going to be able to kill them, um, considering they're pretty tanky as well. Crazy good. Uh, Brushix is actually a really good Pokemon as well. This card I feel is one that people sleep on. I mean, it's an ugly, it's an ugly Pokemon. The colors, the teeth, just everything about it is just hideous. But um, does seventy damage for two energy, ninety HP, and you can do that really quick. So a great rush card. So yeah, we got Coffin, sweet. Stick Coffin in the back line. Uh, put some energy into. We got Weezing in hand as well. Going to drop the Professor. And we got two potions. So I feel like I'm just going to full out, max out Arbok rather than hold on to one potion. And the reason for that is that Arbok is strong and it's going to take this guy a while to start popping off. To be fair, I don't feel like there's any sort of comeback for them. And you can see, don't they rage quit. They have rage quit. All right, he's back, guys. No rage quit. Fair play to him. Maybe maybe a bit of lag or something. There's nothing worse than when someone rage quits in this game. You literally just have to... There we go. It's a no-brainer. So we're four for four. Let's go for one more. Let's see if we can get five for five. All right, another squiggly diggly wiggly. So this is what I'm talking about. This deck, we're four, four for four. We're in our fifth battle. But this deck is so consistent. Every single Pokemon can stomp, no matter what position they're in. They can all bring something to the table and they're all bringing pretty solid damage. It is, it is ridiculous. Redonkulous. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can keep the ball rolling. Okay, this might be a challenge. Articuno and Misty are probably it's one of the deadliest combos. It is pretty, pretty disgusting what you can do with these guys. But we've already got Arbok off the bat. That's great. I'm gonna drop Pokeball. Sweet, got Coffin as well. Drop that in the bench. And I guess we're also, like, we're really low for energy. Everything is a low cost for us to start start getting stuff done. The only thing that I'm scared of is if they got Starmie, because Starmie is an absolute stomper. And we don't, we don't want to get wrecked. And they've red card us. Oh, so that was actually pretty... That was a really nice play for them. That's kind of messed us up a little bit. Um, and Misty, oh, if if she gets that tails, not tails, that heads, we're in trouble. Oh. No need to sweat, guys. No need to sweat. But this is one of the problems is that we're kind of relying now on getting one of our evolutions now. This is just a little bit of bad RNG. Okay, so just one energy into Ekins. I'm going to drop um, Grimer just so we can get some poison in there if we need to. But it's just when that Articuno gets to three energy, that's when in trouble because it's not just going to be the front, it's going to be the bench. Everyone's going to be taking a pound in. It looks like we might lose that hot streak, which kind of sucks. But um, I can't wait for them to sort of, when rank comes out, this is probably going to be my go-to deck because very basic, very simple, but it definitely gets the job done. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get the kill, but we are going to do some solid damage. We're going to have to drop Giovanni. Because otherwise I feel like we're just going to fall really far behind. He is going to one-shot our Arbok, which kind of sucks. So we're down to nine cards. So we're definitely going to pick up one of our evolutions. I'm hoping it's Weezing. We definitely need Weezing. He will be our hard carry for this. And what's he got? Ten, ten to nine.
Okay, coming in with the blizzard. Oh, he's going to switch it out. So we're going to put down Coffin. I would have liked to put down Grimer, but the reason we're going to put down Coffin is because we've got two Coffins and we've got... So say Muck comes into hand, that means we can't evolve Muck, which means we're going to be in bigger trouble than we need to be. So we're going to bring in uh, Arbok again. Might be in a little bit of trouble here. Okay, we're definitely going to put energy into Coffin and then everything's going to start going into into Grimer. But we're down two. We're going to be down two, which we're not in a comfortable spot at all. I don't like to be on the bat foot. Um, yeah, this is, this is going to be a tough one. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can make the comeback. Oh, not Staryu. Like I said, Staryu is so hard to deal with, Starmie. Starmie, if he's got Starmie, that'll be clutch. Again with Misty. Got very, very lucky there. Yeah, he's definitely got Staryu. Just hoping we can pull one of our cards. Okay, I'm putting Coffin in. Um, okay, so hopefully you can get wheezing. Yes, my man. So go stop putting energy into Grimer. And we've got no potions. We're out of potions, which kind of sucks. So if he does have Starmie, we can get one-shotted. And it's pretty much game over. So he's got eight cards. We've got five. Yeah, we're... This is... <laughs> This is going to be really tricky. I'm just hoping, just hoping he doesn't have Starmie. There it is. I knew it was coming, guys. So we had a little bit of bad RNG with this fight. If we had gotten Arbok, well, if he hadn't red card us, we would have won that fight. But five for four is not bad at all. And you can't win them all. Sometimes... RNG is just against you, just like this one. But uh, GG, squiggly, diggly, wiggly. Um, but yeah, this deck absolutely stomps. You can see the power of it. You know, just very basic Pokemon, but they all bring something to the table. We're doing damage, we're doing poison, we're bringing, you know, one shots as well with Muck. And we've got Koga as well, who can just literally be an absolute lifesaver and really turn the tables and flip things on its head. But yeah, Crazy good deck, definitely worth checking out. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash that smash that subscribe and I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.